okay so today we will learn how to visualize your data in integrated genome viewer or IGV so let's say we have this uh, information uh, I will show you in a moment I have I, I I'm using my Ubuntu opera operating system you can use IGV on Windows if you want but I will recommend using Ubuntu or Linux based system because it's more efficient so uh, for IGV uh, you need two kinds of data which uh, here you will have your reference and here you will have your BAM file reference file is in FASTA format or FA format or FNA format or whatever it will be your FASTA file and here you will have your BAM or SAM file but it should be sorted uh, it should be indexed file right so uh, it should have the indexed file in the folder which is dot bai by so uh, I have already you know loaded the uh, reference but you will uh, click on reference and then click on genome load from file right so uh, uh, and you will move where you have your file and uh, now let's you know re reference uh, the, the, uh, I will have my I will upload my reference genome here so this is my reference genome right reference I will open yes done I will click here I will go to file for my BAM file load from file uh, you can load from URL, URL as well. Alfonso, I ha I will upload Alfonso sorted dot bam. This is my bam file. You you can see this is my bam file, and this have indexed file right here. You must have an indexed file. If you don't have, you can make uh, your file. You can index your file uh, using SAM tools. It's very easy uh, easy to you know index your file. So, so y the command is SAM tools index and the name of the file and it will index it so i have opened it all right so there these are my contigs i have 252 contig so this is contig number one uh, you know the, the, the and i have to zoom in to vi visualize the alignments and uh, there you go so these are my reads now aligned as compared to my reference the upper one is the reference and the let me show you if I if we get some reads uh, some place because most of it is empty because uh, this is the, uh, our s sequence is less than the reference because it's RNA seq data so let's move forward okay so okay so that there you go beautiful so these are reads gray area means that the sequence let me zoom it more more okay so the gray area means the see this is the sequence of reference these are reads so the gray area means the sequence of the read and gray area seem it means a is here g is here t is here a is here g is here t is here t is on all these reads but the colored area means that the sequence of the read is different the, there is one color here if it, ha it has two colors like I will show you then it will mean that the sequence has two uh, differences as compared to a reference so let's see how can we search our information uh, from the IGB so I am uh, going to open my files I am going to the folder in which my file is placed and uh, after that I will open my you know VCF position so this is my VCF uh, actually it's easier to you know search from VCF position I can come at VCF position all I have to do is I have to look into this you know um, for example on this contig uh, I will search this position this is contig I will copy this position and I will see T and C in the uh, uh, reads so I will go here 
I will search select that country right I will place these two semicolon I will uh, copy the, that sequence and there you go BAM so T is the sequence of the other it is the other variant and C is our uh, VCF position so T is reference and C is our alternative position alt position uh, in the case of VCF so it is a ref and C is our alt all the gray reads have T and uh, C is present on some reads so you can see how many reads have C and how many reads have uh, T so this is the number here so 14 C's and 28 T's so this is how you search data from your VCF file let's say you are getting some kind of outputs for example I have you know of for example I have a few files so this file contains you know the contig ID and uh, let's say this was my position I, co I will copy this position and CM and uh, it ends with 40.1 so let let me search this uh, contig in my uh, and uh, it will validate my result that if my results are correct or not so and I will you know uh, co paste this here and I will see whether if it has yes it has you know it has G variant at that position right so and I the read might be aligned in the bottom yeah, there you go see so this shows that the read is here and uh, it has a vari variant in it so you know this is how you search for your reads uh, in the you know uh, IGV and let's open another read so it will have the same G so you know uh, it's straight thing and it's really simple how you look for your uh, variant positions in your IGV and this is for ending with 44 I have copied the position let me search it in IGV so I am going to the contig of my interest which is uh, ending with the number 44 